Hello and welcome to another episode of This is How We Grow. This is our high road. Where are we? Hi. Right, so this week we've got a really nice episode coming up for you all. We've got a prank store. Uh, we found this prank store in the heart of Crawford. One wouldn't actually find it if you looked at first. But uh, as we kept walking along and we looked, and the first thing that we see in the shop is this mango box that you find. You're wondering what it looks like. And you're like, what is happening there? Yeah. But as you take a look inside, it's a pretty nice place, right, Sneha? Yeah, I really like it. Like if you want to prank your friend or you want to scare your friend, you want to have some really scary costume for your fancy dress party, you have it there. Let's go check that out. Yeah, this, in this field I was in from 10 to 12 years. I was sitting on another place like Sara Market, Al Sabah Market. We have come here and from 6 years, 7 years I am sitting in Abdurrahman Street only. And uh, this business is from my 10 to 12 years. One of the customer like uh, asking that you have the sheet item. So I tell him what the sheet item. So he's telling that artificials that Sandas is coming. We are uh, getting the enjoy from that. Have you been, somebody has been from the London, America. So I've been there for, uh, in the Dubai. So I've seen there in one, one man was selling this item. So I pick up from him from one cartoon just a sample from me to sell in my shop. So after that I've get more of the response uh, that all more people are coming to asking more more item. So from that I've started like this growing business very good very good and I am dealing now in the parties items also and I marks or fancy fancy goggles is there and all the gifts items is there all magic item is there prank items is there and everything like that also. So I am now famous in Abdurrahman Street for this all, all the stuffs of these parties items and the prank items. Okay. Mostly 80-90% is coming from China, otherwise the rest of the items we are buying from the Delhi also, Calcutta also. Every people is coming, somebody is coming for the fancy dress competition, somebody is coming for the events management, means like the big big company is there, Wirecom 18 is there, MTV is there and all the big big company who is making the parties, they are taking the stuff from me also for using in the parties and all the people like college students is coming that all the IMAX masquerade IMAX that parties is there so they are also buying from us. Like this type of fancy fancy goggles they are buying from us, They're all, all, all types of people is coming, not that single. Every student, all the shopkeepers also coming to take from me and buy, selling exactly. on, on that shop like that. And that was Ayaz Bhai telling us more about fun and scare. And now we are going to read between the lines because... That's how we roar. Right, so now the strengths of fun and scare. As you go in the shop, you find that it offers a lot of variety from gypsy balls to spider webs to rotten cake that's filled with insects. You find a lot of interesting things there. The variety is, is wide, you have stuff from Korea, Japan, China, Bangladesh and various other countries and it's all prank goods, prank items that you can actually give to your friends as gift items, birthday items, various stuff. But even some provocative items that you might, yeah, and things we well, that's can't mention. Not how we do. But there are other stuff as well, like we have the Yeti mask, the vampire mask, the glow in the dark mask, bloody hands, rotten fingers. <laughs> creepy. Yeah, creepy. But as the name goes, it's fun and scary. So that is all for the strengths. Now moving on to the weakness. Now talking about the weaknesses, in a way this shop is lost in the maze of Crawford Market. Only if you're lucky enough to see the red board that says fun and scare, will you be able to go into that shop. And even when once you get into the shop, it's really small and congested, don't you think? Yeah. And also the problem is that there is no plans for expansion. Talking to Ayaz Bhai, he said that if ever we did plan to expand, it would be right now or maybe in the next five years. Also, the fact that they hardly advertise. They had one advertisement in the midday uh, in about 2005, but after that, they've not been advertised at all. 
and the fact that they only rely on word of mouth and no other form of advertising to promote their shop. And that's about all for the weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah. We also forgot to mention one very important part the money. Moolah. Yeah. You see, the store is very, very affordable for lots of people. The price range is between rupees 5 to rupees 500, and you're assured that you will get something very, very decent for the price you pay. Good money for good quality, as they say. Another thing is that this shop appeals to people of all ages, and you have like things for kids, you have things for adults. And it caters to everyone's needs. Yeah. And as you saw in the video clip, the stuff is really friendly. So fun, fun and scary. Fun place? Yeah. yeah. And a bit scary too. A bit scary. I think the fact that you get a lot of variety there and it's really interesting stuff. Things that you don't usually find every day. It really sets it apart from the ordinary. So final word, how much would you give them? 3.5. 3.5, I would say 3.5 as well. So, so finance care scores a 3.5 and 5 in our book. Yeah. And if you want to know more about it, why don't you go out there for yourself and check it out? Yeah, precisely. There you have it, another episode of This Is How We Roll with Alex and Sneha. See you again. Bye bye. Say